So this is the lawn tool that got over 15 million views on the interwebs. I'm going to tell you why I think that happened, and I'm also going to tell you why I think you probably shouldn't buy this. Stay tuned. So I posted a video of me using this thing on social media and it got shared and reposted and whatever you call it a bunch of different times. There were different pages with millions of followers asking me if they could repost it and tag me and I said, well, absolutely you can do that. But uh, that's why I'm surmising, it's kind of a guess, but to my best knowledge, it had probably been seen over 15 million times. The reason for that is probably because the video is just sort of satisfying. Using one of these things is oddly satisfying. Just kind of watching it work and watching it cut the grass. Also because people are like, what is this thing? It looks like some sort of post-apocalyptic weapon. But whatever the reason, a lot of people saw it and a lot of people had questions. So one of the main questions was, what is that thing? This is the Steel Rotary Scissors RG. I have the Steel KM94R powerhead, the combi system, and this attached perfectly on there to where it was seamless and I didn't have to put anything together. This attachment itself cost me $406. That's separate from the powerhead. There is another really good option for rotary scissors. I'm going to tell you about that here in a second. But another one of the big questions I got is, is that thing going to cut your fence down? No, it's not. So it does scratch the fence if you touch it, but it actually probably does less damage than a weed eater, in my opinion, and I'll show you some of my weed eater damage. Maybe I'm just terrible with a weed eater, but also you have to really, really dig in with this thing to do as much damage as what a weed eater string could do. So I actually think it's better for up against the fence. It can be used as an edger, so right along the sidewalks. It is, again, oddly satisfying to do, oddly satisfying to watch. It does a good job. However, I have a stick edger, so I don't think this is going to replace that. It's not as fast as using my stick edger. I love my stick edger. I like edging. And this thing does a great job of it, too. It's just I don't want to do any damage to this. I don't know if digging into the dirt in between the sidewalk and the grass, you know, is going to do any damage to these blades or put more wear and tear on it over time. So I don't think this is going to replace my stick edger, but it's definitely going to replace my weed eater for up against the fence. Where can I find one of those? That was another big question. This is a steel product, and so I got mine from a certified steel dealer, the hardware store in Fayetteville, Arkansas. So let me tell you about the other option that I started to talk about just a minute ago, is called the iDeck Power Rotary Scissors. It's a little bit different than the steel. I don't, I have not used the iDeck. A lot of people love it. They love their landscape blades and they use them all the time. I have only used this one. I have not, I have touched an iDeck. I've never used one to actually trim. Not that it matters. But from what I hear, the iDeck actually spins. So the blades are spinning against each other all the way around. This one oscillates. So these blades go back and forth. I don't see how that's that much different. They're still going to cut the grass like scissors would, but that is a difference. The iDeck Power Rotary Scissors have been hugely popular on thelawnforum.com. So if you're not a member of thelawnforum.com, you need to go join thelawnforum.com. You're going to find a thread about this, and people talk about these things all the time. People love their iDeck Power Rotary Scissors, and they're cheaper than the steel. So the iDeck is something like $260. Go find thelawnform.com. Go look at the thread where they talk about the discount because thelawnform.com does have a discount. If you call Siago International, it's a website. You can't order it online there. You have to call them. But if you order and tell them that you came from the Lawn Forum, again, go get the details from the Lawn Forum. But go do the Lawn Forum discount, and I hear it's a bit cheaper. So either way, it's cheaper. But you have to keep in mind that that's just the power head. You also have to buy a shaft. A lot of people are just using their string trimmer attachment or their string trimmer head taking it off and replacing it with the rotary scissors and so if you're not going to use you know string trimmers at all anymore ever then you're good you're done but if you want to have your string trimmer and the rotary scissors you're going to need an extra shaft to put it on now that's with the eye deck the steel does come on a shaft that's why I say this probably isn't the right choice for everyone. I have the steel. So just doing quick math, I think I spent an extra $40. I got my steel brand rotary scissors to match all of my other attachments. Is that worth it? I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot. And idiots are dumb. But that's just why I say it may not be the right choice for everybody because you can save some money doing it the other way. And a lot of people have them on their electric equipment. They'll go the Ego power head and the attachments for that. They'll get one of the iDeck rotary heads and stick it on one of those shafts. But either way you go, it's a pretty cool attachment. I think it does a really good job. It's going to make trimming up against my fence a lot easier. I, you still have to keep up with it. So my main downfall up against the fence is that I don't keep up with it. I don't use a string trimmer as often as I should, so I end up scalping whenever I do trim up against the fence. 
maybe this thing will make it a little bit more fun and so I'll be motivated to use it more often. Uh, we'll see next year, but it definitely makes it easier to get nice and low, the same level as my grass. So I'm cutting like half an inch on my lawn. That way I can keep the grass about a half an inch all the way right up to the fence with this thing. So I've only used it a few times now, but I'm happy with it so far. It's a really good attachment. I think the iDeck is another great choice. Again, maybe a little bit cheaper, so do some research. But if you're looking into one of these things, I just wanted to give you some more information so you can make the most educated decision possible. And I think that kind of does it. But if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Again, I have not used the iDeck, so I can't compare them, but other people who are in my comments probably can. So ask away and I will see you next time. Dun, 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 dun.